Good morning, folks. We've got some solar events to diagnose this morning. A solar wind amplification, pre-seismic signals, and cosmic rays in the journals as well. Let's begin with our star and find the last 24 hours primary feature being a release of a plasma filament on the southern hemisphere. The bulk plasma of the ejection is heading south in the solar system and will not hit any planet, but there is also a secondary component to the eruption that is worth noting. After the primary filament releases, a solar tsunami signature is visible north of it and extending to the equator. This is a key signature of a stealth CME and we may have a minor one of those coming this way towards the end of the weekend or Monday. We also already have a solar wind amplification ongoing from a coronal hole stream. The rising purple line is plasma speed and it is causing a bit of geomagnetic instability this morning, still well short of storm level conditions. We have two more papers to add to the more than a thousand on pre-seismic signals so far. Big earthquakes give themselves away electromagnetically, either in the wave spectrum or in charged particle release, days to weeks ahead of the main shock. This has been taking various forms, and scientists keep confirming them and finding new ones. All the ways they detect these earthquake signatures before the shaking begins, again up to weeks before, is in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Rest of the book isn't so bad either. An excellent paper on cosmic rays at the journals this week. We see two things here. First, confirmation that in the recent sunspot minimum, we did indeed hit the modern cosmic ray maximum peaking to levels not seen in the observational record. Also, that the anomalous cosmic ray component may have a lot to do with the current sheet of the sun, with certain orientations providing increased levels of the bombardment. Wonder if that works on the galactic scale as well. Lastly, folks, there is a reason the world is reporting this, the article we showed yesterday. There is no question as to the veracity of the data, and the best explanation I've seen as to why came out a few days ago. If you haven't seen the documentary, don't know where to see it, got a link to it in today's list below the video in the description box. By the way, I have read the mainstream explanations for the sudden and widespread appearance of these things, and it's one of the most divertive, ingenuous, and profoundly untruthful things I've ever seen out of the mainstream. It blows climate lies out of the water, for real. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.